Drug addiction is never a single person problem. We see most instances it affects family, it affects children, it affects the community that they live in. Everything was quite smooth until three months post-discharge. What manifested out was um, verbal aggression. Almost every single moment, his text, be it face to face, the aggression was very, very bad. When he's a drunk, right, it's very hard for, for me to talk to him. One day, there was a very big fight between me, my mom, and my dad. He started to beat me. La. So I like literally shouted at him saying that, um, can you like, just stop drinking and think twice? Whenever I brought her to visit him in the prison, right, she would ask me, uh, why do we have to come here? I have to lie to her saying that, oh, daddy is working in the prison. So I'm worried about her all the time. I cannot concentrate in my job. So end of the day, I lost my job. Many of them were rejected by society and they're considered as outcasts. We are the last bastion to help people like them. The key thing that Teen Challenge helps them is that to help them to come out and break up from this addiction. They're being counselled for all the difficulties of the problems they're encountering also helping them to find jobs, helping them to stand back on their own two feet. Then they can go back to their family safely. We try also to help them to restore and reconcile because the family support group is very important. I have a thought of giving up on him, but I didn't want to do it. Don't give up on them because you might not know that you're the only support and the only hope that I can actually help them through the recovery process. Stay on, hold on, and then keep on giving support. People are wrong, so I'm wrong. So I'm wrong. So I'm wrong. So I'm wrong.